So now that we have the CLI installed, we're ready to initialize a new Elastic Beanstalk project. Now I want to point out that uh, we are currently in a uh, tilde environment, that's our home directory. It's very important that we run this command in the study sync directory because it needs to find this .git directory in order for it to upload our code to code commit. So just type in td uh, or cd tilde uh, forward slash environment um, study sync and do ls hyphen la, make sure you see that .git directory there. Before we get going here, I'm just gonna open up a couple tabs in AWS. And we're going to go. Uh, uh, we're going to go to one that's actually at the CLI here. So we're going to make our way, or sorry, to um, Elastic Beanstalk. And then for this one, we're going to make sure that it's on code commit, just so we can see what's happening in the background here. So what I want you to do is I want you to type in eb. We'll give you a full list of commands. Um, we're not, uh, we'll probably won't end up using all these commands, but these are the most general ones. And they tell you to use eb init, eb create, and then eb open. For eb open, we don't actually have the ability to use this command. This makes it so the application uh, opens up in the URL in the browser, which is very convenient. If you're, if you're running Elastic Beanstalk on your local computer, not in Cloud9, that's a great command to use, but here we won't be able to use it. But let's go ahead and do eb init. The first thing it's going to ask us is the region. We definitely want to default that to US East 1, always US East 1, because it makes things easier. Um, it's going to ask us to select an application. It's going to be study sync. It knows that because it's picking it up from the .git folder there. Uh, it's going to ask us if we're using Node.js. We absolutely are, so yes. Do we want to use code, code commit? We'll say yes. Um, and then enter the repository name. We're going to call this study sync. And then it's going to ask us if, uh, or what we want our, our, our default branch to be. We want it to be master. We'll just type in master. We can just hit enter there either. And what it's going to do, it's going to go ahead here and in code commit, it will show us that it created that repo. So here it is. So it, it, uh, it's now here in code commit. In Elastic Beanstalk, we're not going to see anything here yet. This is just an old one here, but if I do a refresh, we go back here. Well, you probably won't see this, um, but I, I had I had uh, older terminated instances here, so you might not see anything here as of yet. Uh, and then down below, it's going to ask us if we want to uh, set up SSH access. I'm going to say no, we do not need that. And so now we've initialized our project. Uh, notice that it's created a new folder called eb uh, elastic .beanstalk. The period means that it's a hidden folder. We're going to go and open up this uh, config.yaml file. And so these are some of the options we chose when setting up the ebnet. So now that we've initialized our project, and we have our code on code commit, we need to configure this application. So we'll move on to, or the, the Elastic Beanstalk environment. So we'll move on to that next.